Hello everyone, Lars here from Unicorn Reviews and last week I bought this thing, the Asus Sonar U7. I bought it because a few weeks earlier I did a computer build in the Inwin 805, you can check that in the top right corner, but the issue with that case was that this connector would not actually fit in the bottom I.O. and you know I really like this Audio-Technica 82000X headphone, so I had to go and buy this thing so that I actually could plug in my headphones somewhere instead of making a cable dangle out of the front of my case. Now honestly, personally, I don't really believe in the whole USB DAC sort of stuff because you don't really need it unless if you need the extra connections or if there's some noise on your signal. A lot of motherboards nowadays have really, really good onboard audio. But if you're on something like a Surface, like I'm right here, and that can't drive the headphones you're using, then a device like this may be a good option for you. So we're going to start off with a bit of a physical overview. Let's start at the top. We have a light for uh, headphones, speakers, and the SPDIF output. And then there's also a uh, knobby turny wheel so you, this is for adjusting the volume and if you click it you can swap between the different outputs there's nothing on the sides on the front we have audio out and usb in uh, on the back a few more connectors right there so you have the uh, red and white rca connectors there and then there's for the 7.1 audio because this is a 7.1 usb sound card have the sides and the center and the rear stuff and then there's also a spdif output and a usb connector Funny thing, on the bottom there is a little switch to swap between USB 1.0 mode to USB 2.0 mode. Obviously you run it in 2.0 mode. Now another really important thing with USB sound cards are the drivers and the ASUS drivers for this thing are mediocre at best. It even has a little pop-up window when you first start it that says, yeah, our software isn't really good so you have to right click something and then you can go through the different settings. Really counterintuitive, I would prefer to see like a tap system or anything. There's also no equalizer in the ASUS drivers, you have to use the, uh, the Dolby digital drivers for that sort of equalizing stuff. But I prefer to just use it completely flat so I didn't really bother with that sort of stuff anyway. So all of this stuff, what does it really do for you in terms of sound quality? I did not actually notice any difference whatsoever with the onboard audio on my motherboard. That said, I do have a pretty high-end motherboard. So it's really something to buy if you have limited connectivity on your motherboard. If there's some noise or if it's inaccessible or if you really want a fancy dial and gold-plated connectors, then this is something for you. What do I really think about it? I kind of like it, it works. The software needs a lot of work and it probably will never get fixed ever because it is a USB sound card and the software is always quite useless. But it works for me, uh, sound quality is as good, maybe better, but I can't really hear a difference, so yeah, if you need something like this, I guess the U7 is a really valid option for you. There are also a lot of other options and they'll probably be equally average. Anyway guys, if you like this video, there's the like button. If you didn't dislike this video, please, please subscribe to Unicorn Reviews. And you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, as well as support the channel on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.